Good morning, my name is Alex Askaroff. It's a Saturday morning early in May, um, Saturday the 18th of May. It's freezing cold here in England, it's still hardly above 12 degrees. Uh, global warming people have, you know, <laughs> they've gone away to decide what's gone wrong. What I'm going to show you this morning is, I was going to go fishing, now I'm going to show you some sewing machines. I'm going to show you two rare toy sewing machines. Now, the first one is the Benina toy sewing machines. Both these companies, um, Benina and Elna, which I'm going to show you today, make fantastic modern machines. They always have done, they've made great machines. And this is the Benina toy sewing machine, very, very rare little machine. Um, and it does a beautiful little chain stitch. Um, and I'm just going to show you a close up of it. Pretty, pretty little machine. Now let's just see if we can just take this off here. There we go, small, sweet, and it produces a little chain stitch. So there we go, just goes round and round and round. Now I don't believe, this might have been made in Switzerland or it might have been made in Italy. It doesn't say on it, but it is an absolutely spanking little machine um, and a real collector's dream. So that's one, that's one of the machines there. And the next machine I'm going to show you is an Elna toy sewing machine. Now, I've seen a couple of Beninas over the years. They're, I mean, they're rare, but they're not that rare. Um, that, uh, but I've never seen an Elna toy before. So what we're going to do now is show you the Elna. I came across this recently. Uh, and, and it's just a delight. Um, this, these metal tins, a legend goes, I don't know how true it is, it's only what I heard, is that Elna made, in their early years, they made um, ammunition um, bullet cases and everything for ammunition. And so the tins on the early Elnas look very much, especially the big ones, look very much like these old containers. Now this is the Elna chain stitch. Now this is a genuine, um, Swedish machine, no, Swiss, sorry, Swiss. And it is a, oh, it's just a gem. Again, a chain stitch. Um, but now, this is the big difference. This is the real big difference. This says on it, made in Switzerland. And all of a sudden, you're in a different quality because the Swiss engineers, oh, they're, they're, they're in another world. And as you turn the handle, it is just so smooth and silent. And I tell you what's even better, you see it just says there, made in Geneva, Switzerland. But now watch this, I'm just gonna pull this out. How sweet is that? So when you're just sewing away, you've just got this beautiful, can you just die for that? This is the Elna Junior, which is based on one of their larger, I think it's a Supermatic machine of the 1950s. But it's just such a delight to sew with. And if, if a child got one of these toys when they, they, you know, 10 or 11, they'd probably sew for the rest of their lives. So there we go, I just wanted to show you those two machines. So you can see, oh, this is a little Muller 15. You've got to watch your Muller 15s because there's lots of copies about that. Um, uh, and the, the Chinese are faking the, the Muller 15s very well, except for little bits of plastic and stuff like that. Um, and you can't tell the difference with the genuine Muller 15s. Uh, again, very smooth machines. So there we go. I just thought I'd show you a couple of really beautiful machines uh, instead of going fishing. I, and I hope you enjoyed it.